5, new video shows the moments. A woman was run over by a Jeep. Now, we've highlighted the Jeep because it's a bit difficult to see, and you can barely see the moment that the Jeep runs her over, but it happened right there. Action News Jax, Lorena Inkland is live in Fernandina Beach, and Lorena, we know the suspect is now in jail. That's right, and he's facing some charges, though out here today, it's really thanks to those witnesses who saw this all happened and went over to the driver to try to talk to him. You see that in the video, and police believe that they also were able to help uh, them find the driver. Now, out here today, nearly every beachgoer I spoke with had heard of what happened, and they tell me they hope it's a reminder, reminder to be more careful. Surveillance video from Slider's Seaside Grill shows the moment a silver Jeep Cherokee hit a sunbather. You see the Jeep drive over an embankment. Moments later, someone is spotted on the ground. But the Jeep doesn't stop even after witnesses appear to be speaking with the driver. Public records show Gregory Lee Green was arrested for leaving the scene of a crash with injuries. While investigators believe Green was aware he hit someone, that's not always the case. That's usually the case. When we have uh, people hit by cars on the beach, it's because the drivers didn't see them. Especially in the Saddler Road access point, where there are these small drop off points in the sand where people like to lay out. To give you an idea of how easily a sunbather could be missed by a driver, my photog right now is at about the level of what a driver would be, but he can't see me unless I sit up straight, which is why police officers are asking beachgoers to be as visible as they can. Less than a month ago, Action News Jack spoke to a woman who was run over by a Jeep Wrangler while at Peters Point. Her attorney tells us he's pushing the city to issue a moratorium on beach driving. I did reach out to three county commissioners to get their take on this. I left the messages. I haven't heard back yet. I'm told that the victim in this case was visiting this area by herself from Ohio. Reporting live from Fernandina Beach, Lorena Inkland, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.